Hello, welcome to next video using vSpay client to access vCenter server. In this video, we are going to take a look at why we need vSpay client, types of vSpay client, and understanding of vSpay client. At the end of the video, we will also see the lab demonstration. Why we need vSpay client? We have virtual data center and there are a lot of components. We have vCenter server and ESXi host. We have to access those components. So we need a GUI interface. So vSpay client provides us the capability to perform the day two operations and manage the virtual data center. You can perform the tasks such as creating virtual machines, snapshots, clone, backup and other things. Types of vSpay client. We have two types. One is web client and second one is host client. Web client will be used for accessing vCenter server and host client will be used for accessing ESXi host. In web client we have two types. One is flash based and second one is HTML based. Flash based required Adobe Flash Player and HTML doesn't require any kind of third party component. Access vCenter server through vSpay web client. So we have user on the top and vCenter on the bottom. In middle of that we have vSpay web client. And you can access the vSpay web client using the URL https colon double slash and IP address or name of vCenter server slash vSpay hyphen client. How it works? We have vSpay client, web client and host client. vSpay client and web client communicates with the vCenter server and vCenter server agent which is vpxd communicates with the vpxa which is resided on the ESXi host and vpxa communicates with the host e and both provides the information and provide the management capability to the vSpay web client whereas it will talk about the VMA host client which is being used to access the ESXi host so that communicates directly to the host D and access the vCenter ESXi host information. Manage the vSpay environment using the clients. So once you are logged in with the vSpay client or host client you can access and manage ESXi host, VMA cluster, data stores, network, virtual switch, NTP configuration, domain authentication, permissions, licensing, host profiles, ESXi options, login, plugins and other components. Now we are moving to the lab where we will see how we can access the vSpay client and host client using the console. We will see how we can use the vSpay client or host client. To access the ESXi host, we use host client. To access that, we need to enter the IP address or host name of the ESXi host in the browser and press enter. Now we have this console. Log in with the root credentials. Here you have different options which you can manage through the host client. You can manage virtual machines. You can manage storage. You can manage networking. And you can also monitor the ESXi host. It will show you the performance of the ESXi host and any logs that are related to this ESXi host. And to access the vCenter server, you have to open the vSpay client. Now provide the credentials which we have configured during the SSO.
Here we are logged into the vCenter server using the vSpec client. From here, you can manage multiple ESXi host, data store and virtual machines. Here you can see that we have host app where we can see all the ESXi host. Second one is virtual machine tab. In this, you will be able to see the virtual machines and templates. Third tab is about the ESXi data stores. So whatever data stores we have, so that will be visible here. In fourth tab, we have networking. So whatever networking is related to this vSphere, vCenter server and ESXi host, that will be visible here. In ESXi host, if you'll go, you have many options like summary, monitor, configure, permissions, virtual machines, data stores, networks, and update manager. Similar to that, you have different options in virtual machines, data stores, and networking tab. So this is how we manage our vCenter server and ESXi host using the host client and vCenter server vSpec client. Thank you. In next topic, we are going to cover understanding of vCenter server high availability.